Nityanandam. I am Sriniti Abhimuktananda from Mumbai. I am Manit Abhimuktananda from Mumbai. Yeah, so just we have it's just we want to express our gratitude towards Swamiji. I am with Swamiji for last 10 years, 10 plus years, I can say. I'm basically a spiritual seeker. I was just seeking for a long time. Then I can say my seeking end, rather the new journey of spirituality starts after I got connected with Swamiji. That's in 2010. So as a seeker, you have only questions, questions, questions at one end. And you have an information, information at the other end. But what was lacking or what was a gap is, a, is an experience which can really make a data to understand, make an information to feel that it's true. That's what every seekers look for. That is basically the end every seekers wanted to reach. The experience inside cannot be described in the word. So what Swamiji gave me is an experience. Is it a just experience for a day? No. This is an ongoing, expanding, expanding experience. It's not just an end. It's a new journey starts. And, and it's still continuing. So that's where I feel. I mean, I can very well see there were many seekers along with me before 10 years. When you don't have a guru, what happens is you keep travel with a heavy load of data, information, and frustration of not having an experience. It's a guru, only a guru. And that, that too, I can say our guru is an avatar, an enlightenment master who can transmit that experience to us. He is here to say, hey, even you can realize this. Even you can do it. I'm not here to do just pravachan. I'm here to give you uh, clarity, the answers for the questions, and the technique to reach enlightenment. And more than that, all beautifully can happen through the emotional connect with him. So it's like a Bhagavad Gita. I could able to see all, all three in him. That's what... Uh, I'm so, so happy about to have this kind of guru and our journey of, uh, you know, uh, spirituality continues and expanding. The only one thing I wanted to, uh, you know, say to uh, Swamiji with a lot of gratitude, if people ask that, what is the one thing you got from guru? Uh, of course, the long list, it's an endless list and it's keep expanding. The one thing I can very well say Knowingly or unknowingly, there is a heavy load of Hindu guiltiness. That's the one I was carrying it. In fact, that was one of the big obstacle for me to jump from information to an experience. It was stopping me to realize or go beyond all these things. When, when this journey being with Swamiji, like a father, like a real cosmic father, he could be able to sit with me through many ways, through programs, through books, and even the personal level, he could be able to operate on me to remove this Hindu guiltiness and make me a sort of Hindu activist. I am proudly, without any doubt, without no arrogance, I can say, I'm very, very happy to be Hindu practicing spiritual seeker. I don't have any guiltiness of Hinduism. I am really standing up for Hinduism with my guru. None of this Sanadana Dharma's, you know, procedures, processes, divisions, and uh, nothing, nothing is creating me any guiltiness in me. I can stand up boldly towards any dirty literature throw on Hinduism. I can fight for it. So that is the biggest uh, one thing I can say. Apart from this, there are many things he has given, but this really I could be able to see that this helped me to grow very fast in my spiritual thing. Second is, there are a few powerful cognitions which we read 
and we read in vedas agamas and everything he made that as an experience there is me inside me me is the world it's a me is a reflection of the bigger world that's andanda i am a pindanda i am not a just a body i am just conscious being i am not going to die just in one birth this all we learned we learned we listened but we never realized in depth i am sure as a devotee of swam ji this is all not just learning this is all not just information this is all not just data it is an experience for me so with all the gratitude i am just surrendering all my thanks to swam ji thank you swam ji thank you nitya nitendam uh, i am from mumbai my name is ma avimuktananda and uh, i have been connected with swami ji since 2010 as my husband told uh, it was he who got connected first to swami ji slowly uh, we all started getting aligned to swami ji's teachings because in a very subtle way uh, swami ji started being a part of our lives it's uh, it's really a miracle as to how uh, beautifully life changed for us uh, initially as a family we were uh, like doing our own things and you know we were not concerned about you know not so sensitive about each other in relationships in what we do but after swami ji uh, came into our lives i saw the entire thing changing the first thing what i saw was a big transformation in my husband when he started becoming more sensitive to what uh, every other person in our family you know goes through so that itself was a big uh, uh, change that i saw which made me start believing that yes uh, a guru can really transform people so uh, also another main important catalyst in uh, you know bringing uh, uh, in in making this belief more strong is i would uh, attribute it to my son uh, who is uh, now a balasant in swami ji's gurukul Uh, he got uh, beautifully connected to swami ji it was only as a father uh, shri avi mukta had just introduced him to gurukul and uh, they had done a couple of uh, uh, programs uh, in the adhinam uh, and uh, my son simply got connected i don't know on what base or what but he simply got connected to swami ji in a very deep way which probably i could never understand but uh, the the intensity was so strong that he decided to go and study in swami ji's gurukul leaving the school that he was studying here and that came as a big surprise to me but somehow as a parent as a mother i didn't want to suppress his uh, uh, what what he wanted so i just allowed him to do it and i'm really thankful that uh, we took the decision of putting him in swami ji's gurukul because today when i see my son operating in such a powerful space in with so much of powerful cognitions inside him with so much of love and care for everyone and affection for everybody around him irrespective of whether the person is a family member or anybody anybody for that matter the kind of uh, compassion that he carries within himself it is just the same as what swami ji has it is simply reflecting the beautiful space which swami ji has transmitted in these children so i am really really very thankful and deep gratitude to swami ji that he has brought such blissfulness and such happiness in our lives he has transformed my child he has transformed our child in such a into such a beautiful human being that i i really have no words to thank him it's it's such a beautiful experience and such a beautiful feeling of being associated with uh, such a master of of being at the feet of such a master that he has he has given us so much in life be it in relationships be it in uh, be it in wealth be it in health i have gone through so many of ups and downs with respect to uh, relationships in my own family in my maternal family where my sister got diagnosed with cancer and i was not in a position to help her it is only through the healing uh, uh, power that swami ji gave us that i could keep healing her every day and reducing the pain that she was going through i was fortunate enough to take her to swami ji for personal blessings and each day almost 30 days he gave her healing 
Swami Ji gave a really irrespective of she not even being a devotee. He never even bothered. It's just that he just kept giving. And because of that, I'm sure that, you know, today whatever, uh, though she left the body, but I know that she got liberated because she came at the feet of Parameshiva and he liberated her from all the suffering. And I'm really thankful to Swamiji because the kind of suffering she was going through was so immense and it was really very painful. So the kind of uh, compassion that he showed to someone who is a non-devotee also is so amazing. He did not bother who she was or what she, where she comes from and uh, uh, gave her healing and blessings so that she achieves liberation. That again uh, reconfirmed my belief that yes, a master being there in life really matters a lot. It really changes your life for the good. And trust me, it is a, it is really day in, day out, we are having amazing experiences and beautiful space in our own house, in our own surroundings where we are. We never feel powerless. It is always that we go back to Swamiji's teachings as to how we have to hold powerful cognitions. To add to that, Swamiji uh, also has given us an opportunity to keep enriching people he uh, he made us a part of uh, gurukul since uh, my son is in gurukul so i also wanted to be a part of swamiji's gurukul and uh, uh, contribute in some way or the other so uh, we both were blessed by swamiji to become acharyas in gurukul and today we run e gurukul classes all over and help so many children it is so it is really very fulfilling to see the kids flower under his blessings and attain all these powers and powerful cognitions just like the gurukul kids whom he has brought up so every every step that we uh, that we take in our life when we when we have swamiji within us when we when we have the oneness of swamiji in us i'm sure it is it is experience the experience itself is immensely immensely very powerful and immensely very fulfilling and there is causeless happiness happening every time in our lives. There is no need to worry about anything because we know that Swamiji is there for us. Whatever be it, he is there for us and he will bring us out of any problem or any issues that we are facing and he will not allow us to become powerless. This one cognition is enough to lead a beautiful and blissful life is what I believe. This is a very big gift that Swamiji has given in the in the form of uh, in the form of a great blessing to us as a family, because when we are connected as a family, definitely the the oneness connection goes at a different level. Today, when I see that all of us are together connected, every topic that we speak at home, everything that we do is always centered around Swamiji, and it gives us immense happiness. Any kind of any kind of uh, arguments or any kind of uh, you know, uh, non non relation or non correlation in any of the topics that we uh, that we talk or we discuss. If there is any uh, non alignment, we quickly align just because our center point is Swamiji. This is something which is doing amazing healing in all the relationships that we have. So this again, like this, in so many dimensions, Swamiji has helped us. So many dimensions, he has he has changed our lives. For the better for for allowing us for helping us to experience bliss so i'm really thankful to swamiji for being a part of our life for uh, for giving us so many beautiful experiences moreover for uh, accepting our child and uh, you know giving him that beautiful life i i don't have really any words to thank it is it is it is something which probably a parent can uh, really and vouch for it is something which I know that being a parent uh, I wanted for my child the kind of life that you know the kind of life that Swamiji is giving to uh, to our son to it is something which is which which probably we as parents could have never given here the the kind of uh, integrity that he follows the kind of life that he lives it is just like how Swamiji Swamiji lives the same way he is living his life with integrity and with following all the tattvas, with with, uh, with so much compassion, and it is so beautiful to watch him like that. 
I thank you, Swamiji. Thank you, Swamiji, for being a part of our life and giving us so much, so much, full, fulfilling us in every way. I thank you so much. It's it's really very, uh, it's really very amazing, and uh, I really thank you for being a part of our life. Thank you so much, Swamiji. Nityananda. Nityananda, Swamiji.